Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today's video is a makeup tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now. It's a simple summer kind of bronzy glow makeup tutorial with a pop of color on the eye. And I also am going to tell you the products that I use for the summer months for how I prep my skin and different products that I use for makeup, skin prep, setting, all that good stuff. And then things that I use in the summer to protect my hair. I used a bunch of stuff that was in last month's BoxyCharm. This is one of the new Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. I also used a new matte and glow product from Bare Minerals. So I used a lot of new products in this video. So there'll be a lot of first impressions as I go. So if you would like to see how I got this makeup look and here some of my skincare makeup prep tips, then just keep watching. Okay, so first for skin prep, you definitely have to take care of your skin, obviously year round, but in the summer months, if you're putting on a lot of sunscreen or you're just being outside a lot, so you're clogging up your pores with sweat, sunscreen, you really have to make sure you are washing your face. In the summer months, I still use my Purpose Cleanser in the morning or after I come inside, and I like to use this to get like the top layer of like grime off. I use these year round also, but I really up the frequency in the summer months. The first one is the Bosha Detoxifying Black Cleanser. And I really like it with their little charcoal sponge. The first one I had was the black charcoal one, which I think is the purifying one. And I really like that one. This one, I can't remember what it's called. It's not quite as scrubby, but I still really like it. So you just pump it onto here, put it on your skin and just rub it. it has a warming feeling so you really kind of feel like it's warm it's melting the impurities out of your skin and then a really good drugstore product is the Garnier Clean new blackhead eliminating scrub I've talked about this before also in a whole video I did about Garnier products if you haven't seen that I will link it down below Garnier is of course incredibly affordable this one is very scrubby so if you have really sensitive skin and you don't like products that are super scrubby I wouldn't get this I would get like the Neutrogena Naturals one but when I feel like I really have clogged pores. I really like this one. It's supposed to unclog pores and clear your complexion and it's a charcoal for oily skin. Once you have your skin all clean and you're prepping it for makeup, I still use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost water gel, but I switched to the normal one instead of the very dry skin one. It's just a lighter hydration layer. And so I find this is better for me for the summer. The hydrolonic acid is supposed to draw water molecules to your skin, which help plump up your skin, but also help it continue to be hydrated throughout the day. In the winter time, I use hydrating primers and a lot of, you know, face sprays or whatever that's hydrating. But in the summer, I like to get my hydration from the Neutrogena and then from masks. And so I saw these in CVS. This is their Beauty 360 line, and this is the Hydrating Deep Moisture Tissue Facial Mask. These are just like the sheet masks that you can get from Sephora. So they have a hydrating one, they have a purifying one and a anti-wrinkle one I think. These are five dollars so they're not that much cheaper than Sephora. I think Sephora is maybe eight dollars. So I use these in the summertime to give myself some hydration but I don't want to put all that hydration product underneath my makeup because it can just be too heavy. For underneath my eyes I use hydrating gel masks. These are from Bosha. This is a Saki Brightening Hydro Gel Mask. I'm just showing you this to basically tell you that I use the little hydration masks underneath my eyes. These are great, but they're not like my favorite. Oh my gosh, you have to go out and get them. I'm just using them as an example. I'm pretty sure that this 360 brand has eye ones, but I do find that any of these little under eye hydration masks have been effective. So I do like to put those on the days when I'm going to be doing my makeup and I find that it really helps my concealer go on better. Also for my eyes, I started using the Murad Essential C Eye Cream and this has a SPF 15 in it. And I got a facial and the esthetician was telling me that I should use an eye cream that has SPF in it. It's also brightening because it's the Essential C line, but I mainly like it because it has sunscreen in it. So I added this to my summer skin routine. I really like this Olay Regenerous Microscope cream or sunscreen because it has an SPF 30 and I find it wears underneath my makeup really well. After I put it on I do use a tissue just to make sure I get off a little bit of the excess and then I put like mattifying 
products around my t-zone because i have combination skin but if you have normal or dry skin you won't have a problem with this making your face oily underneath your makeup it's the skincare stuff that i kind of switch up my routine for the summer lastly i'll show you briefly the sun bum products i really like these they smell like sunscreen they smell really great the extra reason that i like them is because they are uv protecting for your hair for shampoo conditioner and then the shine on which kind of reduces the flyaways and just gives you like a little bit of a shine it's a lightweight oil all of these products are uv protecting so if you're going to be out and about and out in the sun a lot this would be something really good to have the uv rays can harm your hair just like they can harm your face so that is it for this skin prep and hair care protection portion of the video. Let's go ahead and get started with the makeup tutorial. So I'm going to start by exfoliating my lips. My lips do get dry in the summer months and so I like to use an exfoliator and this one by e.l.f. is wonderful and affordable. And then I'm going to put some lip balm on. I got this in the BoxyCharm box and it is a very nice lip balm. I will really like that brand. And this is the Essential C Eye Cream. And I'm just patting that in. And like I said, I love it because it has an SPF 15. And this Olay Regenerist has the SPF 30, which I really like that also. Just a little bit more than the SPF 15, which is what I use over the winter. Then for priming, I'm using the Murad Invisibler. I like this because it has the SPF 30 and I like to layer my sun protection in the summer. And because it's not mattifying, I'm using the Becca Ever Matte. And you really just have to kind of work this into your skin until it feels a little sticky. And then for the lines on my forehead, always the Amazing Cosmetics Line Filler and Primer. And for my under eyes, the Smashbox Hydrating Primer, which is even more important in the summer. And then for the redness, I'm using the Becca Pistachio Concealer. The green is supposed to counteract the red. This is the first time I have used this product and I'm just dabbing it in with my finger, which I found was pretty effective. And it's not a 100% block out the red, but it definitely helps. And I'm using the Becca Papaya Corrector. This is the first time I've used this one also. And I did like it. it. I think it was pretty effective at counteracting the dark circles and it wasn't drying. But if you guys would like me to do a whole video on those two, I can do that. But they are nice, but I need to use them more, I think, to get like a real kind of should you buy them or not. Or not. And this is the Urban Decay Complexion Perfector. It has SPF 30 in it. Again, I do like to layer the sun protection in the summer. I really like how this goes on with the Beauty Blender the most. It doesn't go on as nicely with the brush for some reason, but I like to use the brush on my neck just because it's faster. This is the Makeup Forever HD Concealer. I really like this concealer, but I don't think I don't. I don't think I like it as much as the Urban Decay one. And this is the NYX Highlighter. This has more of a concealer consistency. It's a nice highlighter, but I think it's a little bit thick for my liking. I like the Bare Minerals Stroke of Light better than I like the NYX one. But it does blend in well, and it does give you um, some highlight. And I'm just using that to conceal my eyelids and my inner corner. And then I'm mixing the Bobbi Brown peach powder that I have with the Laura Mercier translucent powder and just setting all of that. And then I'm going in with the Bare Minerals Matte and Glow and I'm setting the rest of the concealer in the T-zone with the matte product. And this is the brush that goes with the product, but I wouldn't recommend buying the brush. I don't think it's worth the price. You can just use a brush that you already have and it doesn't even tell you which side you're supposed to use, which I don't like that either. And this is the Marc Jacobs Mirage Duo. I really like this powder. I just continue to reach for it. It's very pricey, but you do get a lot of the yellow and contour shade. And I use the yellow a lot to carve out my cheekbones. This is the Smashbox Warm Matte Bronzer. I really like this bronzer. I think it's a really pretty just tan color where you can just warm up your face and make it look natural. And it blends very nicely. And I do like to run it down my neck. I filled in my eyebrows per usual with the Anastasia Brow Wiz and set them in place with the Brow Gal Eyebrow Gel that was in the BoxyCharm box. It was a good brow gel, but not mind blowing. This Makeup Geek blush, oh my gosh, it is so pigmented. Look how I'm barely touching my face and how much it is going on. Really liked this blush. I'm going to get some more colors and I loved that this came in the BoxyCharm box. I just love that BoxyCharm. It's such a good price and you always get great products. I've very rarely been disappointed with them. 
and this is a glow powder. I think the problem with this is that it is a glow. It is not a highlight. If you think it's going to be a highlight, it's not. It's just supposed to give you like a little glow, not a highlight. And I think that's why people are really disappointed in it. But I wouldn't recommend purchasing the palette. I don't think it's worth the price and I don't think either of the products are that wonderful. So to start the eye look, I'm going in with Makeup Geek Vanilla and I'm just putting that all over the eyelid. And then I'm going in with Anastasia Vanilla. This one's more sparkly, so I like to use this more of a highlight uh, underneath my eyebrow inner corner and like the very inner part of the eyelid and that is going to be the only eyeshadow we put on the eyelid for this look. I'm going to make a very thin line with the Bobbi Brown gel liner and my Cita brush. This gel liner is no joke. It stays on all day but I am able to get it off easily with my Neutrogena eye makeup remover pads. So this is the star of the show. This came in the BoxyCharm box, the Pure Minerals eyeliner. And so I'm starting by putting just a thin line underneath my eye. And then the key is to use these up and down motions to fill in all the flesh tone on your eye. You want the all of it to be blue or whatever eyeliner color you're using. You want to completely cover your lash line and your waterline with that color. So I'm putting the eyeliner in the waterline now and then I'm smudging it all out. I did test this eyeliner first to make sure it smudges so be sure to do that because it'll be disappointing if you do all that work and then it won't kind of smudge out and soften. But I'm so glad that you guys like this blue liner look because my daughter didn't like it and she gave me a complex. So I'm curling my eyelashes and putting on on the It Cosmetics Tight Line to prep my lashes for falsies. These are Flirty Eyes eyelashes that I got from Hot Look a really long time ago. They're really, really expensive even on Hot Look, so I don't think I would buy them again, but they are really pretty. Then I'm putting the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara on the top and bottom lashes. And then I'm lining my lips with the Starlux Ultra Longwear Mechanical Lip Pencil. This was in the box also, and I'm going to fill my lips in too. I did like the quality of this pencil. It wasn't drying. It was creamy, which was nice for a long wear lip pencil. Then I'm finishing off the look with the new Vice lipstick by Urban Decay in the Naked shade in the cream formula. I liked the finish of this lipstick and it felt really good on the lips. I'm setting everything into place with the Cool Up Makeup Setting Spray. This has SPF in it, which is great for summer. <music> the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. All the information for all the products that I use will be in the description box below. All my social media links will be down there too. My Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat, and my Facebook. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! My next favorite, I have one of them on today. It is the Katy Perry, Katy cat matte lipsticks. This one that I have on today is in the shade